everyone, welcome to the new Series 12 Spring Festival playlist. As usual, I'm going to show you the Forzaton challenges and the cars that we used in the championships and also the cars that we can win. So let's have a look at the Forzaton challenge. Let's have a look first at the Forzaton shop, I mean. As you can see, here is the Peugeot. It's the Forza edition. That car was already in the game. Then you have the Hoonigan RS200. That's also a very good car. You definitely need to get that. We have some clothes and of course the wheel spin. So basically there's nothing really special in the Forzaton shop. Now let's have a look at the weekly challenges. We need to own and drive a Porsche 959. We need to win three dirt rail events. That's going to be easy. There is a blueprint for that. We need to win two street scene events. And then we need to do 10 ultimate near miss kill. Is, uh, skills. Now, the dirt trail event, I'll show you and I'll explain you quickly why. I'm already sitting in a car, and as you can see, there are two tunes for this car. Normally, I'll always try, try to make uh, one tune for the Fordaton, but the problem with this car is in S1 and S2, it's almost not handleable. It's sliding all over the place, so I reduced the car. And I kept it in A class uh, for the street race. The S2 is to use uh, for the skill because you need a high speed, otherwise, the near miss skills won't count. This one goes to about 300, but this will be way easier. I tested it out in A class, I can't get the awesome near miss skills, but in the S2, I can. So, the best thing what you need to do is take the A class for that. That will be much better for the street scene. Uh, for this one here, the blueprint, it doesn't matter. The blueprint is located at Mud Kickers, as you can see. I'll show you quickly on the map. That's here. So you just go into the. Well, it's go up. It's here. It's a, anything goes. It just you just need to drive straight. That's all, and then you win. Now, the next one that we need to do, as you can see, we need to win two street scene events. Now, that's where it comes to the A class tune. You really need, I really recommend you to use the A class. And the one that I use for that is this one here at Coastal Charge. That is by far the most easiest street race. And shortest that you can do and as always here at the middle you will see at this little point here the dravatars um or it's at this one you will see it on the on the map you will if you're not able to pass them in front uh, of the corners you will definitely pass them on that uh, part of the race so don't worry about the beginning of the race you will definitely win it then here we have the 10 ultimate near miss kills so, this is where it comes to the S2 tune. The A class tune cannot handle the, the ultimate near because the, the top speed is like limited. You need about 300 or 180 miles per hour to actually get it. Now, as I said, S1, S2, the car slides really a lot, but. Just drive straight, do the drive as close as you can. There you go, awesome near miss skill. I think you need about four, p uh, four or so at the first time. And you just drive it like that, awesome. And once again, the A-class tune can't handle this skill because it's limited. Okay, let's have a look at the championships of this week. Now, as you can see, here are the guys standing in the cars that we can win. First of all, the trail. The trial. The trial. What do we need? Wait, I'm going to cancel that. We already have a team. So let's have a look at the, the trail here. We need an Aston Martin and S1900. So let's have a look at the cars. 
Austin. Now you can say, why don't you take the 2019? It's very simple. That car doesn't steer. I tried everything to tune it. It just don't steer at all. Now this is a car I tuned way back and I fine tune it now again. This is very grippy, this car, also for um, road, rain. So I recommend you to take the 2006 Austin Martin Vantage GT12. Now, there's also another tune, I think, from me, from the Austin Martin 177. That's also a very good car, but I do prefer this car um, for the grip. Now, what can we win from this one? We win the Maserati. This one, MC12 Corsa. So the trail, this is a car that we win. Now, the next one is a showcase. That's located here. That's with that airplane that makes your screen shiver a lot. It's with the Ferrari 812. It's rear wheel drive. It's not the easiest car to do it. Uh, I did win it, but I did use some uh, walls for the corners because of that shivering screen. So I'm not a fan of wall riding, but I admit I used the walls for that because I really don't like this showcase. But it's the Ferrari 812 real wheel drive that you will need. Well, that you will get from the game and you win a super wheel spin for that. Okay, let's go to the next one. The playgrounds. I didn't do the playgrounds yet. Um, cancel. Let's have a look at the playgrounds. It's located at the quarry. It's A800 off-road. Now, the car that I'm going to use for that is going to be the Ford Raptor. I'll put my favorites on and I'll pay, take off-road so you can see my cars. There you go. So I'm going to take the Ford Raptor or the Rebel ERX concept. So one of those two will be the car that I will be using. Now you get Frog Wallies. I'm not sure if I want Frog Wallies, but we have some Kermit in our team. So he probably like that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here. As every week it goes up, we need to race on the 80s. That's this one. Now, you can choose between um, C, B or A class. Now, I took an A class car for that. The car that I use for this one is a car that I always use on dirt, especially with those ones. You can see here it's the Lancia 037 Stradale. It's been used in, um, I used it in A class. You can also use the B class tune if you like. This is an S1 tune, so don't use that. Uh, but this is a car that I used. It's cross country. Now, as every week, we're getting cross country with dirt and roads. This car is very grippy also on roads so if you like um that car you can always use this one now what do we win from that we win the bmw m5 that's this car that's always already in the game but you can also win this car at that championship let's go to the next one here at the lambing season we need the urus or the lm002 in a800 now the lambo uh, last time i used um, the lm002 but this time i used the urus concept the 2014 now i did tune this one but i can tell you it's a challenge to Keep control of the car for once. It's sliding a little bit. It's like a big tank on four wheels. So the 2014 Lambo Tourist concept is a good car to use for that. Now, what do we win? 
we win a car that was in the beginning of the game very rare. That's the 2016 Lambo Aventador. It was rare till while well, the auction got messed up. Now let's go to the next one. The next one is Dirty Derby. We need Retro Rally B700. And since I already had that car tuned and I always like to use that car, I used the B class version of the Stradale. I always like that car, I always use it in the seasonals. It has, um, I'll quickly show. I'll load up. So it has an A class, a B class, and that's one. So you can use uh, that car twice this week. Let's go to the cars that we win. At 50%, we win the 2017 Austin Martin Vanquish. That's a new car. And at 80%, the Lotus Elise 99. I think that's pretty rare now on the auction. Let's have a look. I think the guys are in the new cars. I will go to the PR stunts in a moment. I see Yeti is in that Lotus. And I think somebody left. I'll show you that car later then. I'll just pick it up now. That's this one. This is a brand new car in the game. There you go. Ah, there is Matt. So that's a car that we win at 50%. I didn't drove it yet, so we're gonna have a look how the car goes. The previous also Martin didn't steer, so I hope this one will be much better. Now let's go to the Yarstons. And once again, I would appreciate it if you see you see my the guys here, I would appreciate it if you would download they are tunes, they also work hard on the tunes, so I would appreciate it if you support them. Now let's have a look at the PR stunts. You can only win super wheel spins. I'll just put the filter back on. So the first one here. Let's go there. I started from this point, and as always, I use my muzzler. Now, I didn't add rain. Ah, oh, it's not raining anymore. Let's have a look at this PR stunt. There's my muzzler. That's the street version of the muzzler. The high acceleration. Now, the Ferrari. 599XXE is of course, well it's better, it goes faster, but I'm just always sticking to this modeler because it's also very good uh, when it's raining this car. There you go, that was very easy one. Now the other one, I will go to this one in a few because I need to change my car then. Uh, where is the other one that was here in the north? This one. Now, you just start from here. Also, you can use that uh, Ferrari 599XXE for that. It has a higher top speed than the muzzler, so it will be much easier to do with that one. But I start at this point. Just need to watch for the traffic. And then just drive straight. There you go. And then you have this one. Um, I'm uh, very sure the Ferrari in X class will be faster than the muzzler. Now, here we need to jump. So you just start from here. Now I'm going to switch to my uh, dirt muzzler. This one. There's dirt tires on it, and the suspension is softer, different suspension. Now, 
you don't even need to drive very hard, uh, very fast, unless you drive against a tree. But that always happens when I make a video, then you make mistakes. So that's active arrow. This was a complete fail. It happens once in a while in my video because you do not edit the video. Let's start again. There you go. And if you use the active arrow, when you press the brake, you will slide a little bit further away. But this is how, this is a car that I used for that PR stunt. Let's go back, guys. So all the cars will be in the description. All the cars, uh, the tunes from the guys will also be in the description. So if you like to support them, I would appreciate it if you download their tunes. Also, always thank you for always supporting me, guys. I really appreciate it. I just need to say that again and again because you're always helping me out. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you out and we will be helping you on Saturday on the live stream and we will do some racing, car meets and everything we do every week. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.